Welcome to episode 14 of Top Picks. Now, I didn't think I'd survive this long. I thought they'd gotten rid of me with all my bad jokes, oh. but I'm gonna keep going with them. Anyway, Top Picks is our fortnightly roundup of the last two weeks in the numismatic world. Yeah, and it has been a busy few weeks because we've had three Royal Mint coin issues. Yep. And of course, some other great issues as mm -hmm. well. So let's dive in. Let's do it. So first of all, I wanna talk about something very recent. It actually only came out yesterday. Day. Okay, I'm excited about this one. Mm -hmm. And it is the Flying Scotsman UK £2 coin. Mm. Obviously, we saw this one in the annual set at the beginning of the year, so you could get it as part of the set, but now it's been individually released, so you can own it in all the different specifications. Mm -hmm. And really importantly, this one, the Silver Proof and the Silver Proof PA4 versions, feature colour printing. And that on a two pound coin. That is special because it's the first time we've seen color printing on a UK two pound coin yeah. for over 20 years. That That is actually quite incredible. We've got really used to them on the 50p's, haven't we? They are highly, highly popular, but on a two pound, that's like I say, 20 years is a long time to wait. And it's incredibly special because this year marks the centenary of Flying Scotsman. Right. So it's 100 years old, mm -hmm. and in fact, it's still working because I had the privilege to go on it. Yes, you did, mm -hmm. I know, I'm sure. Look, there you are <laughs> on the Flying Scotsman. I wasn't available to join you, I was gutted. Such a great opportunity to go on this world famous locomotive, mm. see it in action, and it really does tie in with the theme on the coin and it's just so lovely to have gone and yeah. seen it. All right, you're rubbing it in now. <laughs> when, when I was a boy, we, my dad and I used to set up Hornby Railways and, and I had the Flying Scotsman. So it is my dream to go on that. Oh. Oh, wow. Um, but that's not, not, it's not just my dream, it's lots of people's dreams, but it's also an absolute iconic piece of British history. Mm -hmm. um, something that the world is a bit jealous of that we have such a like, yeah. world famous iconic locomotive. So it is one to definitely consider first colour, two pound coin, collectible, silver, you name it. It's got everything about it, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Okay, we just talked about my childhood. It wasn't that long ago, but I want to talk a bit more about it because Dr. Doolittle features on our next set of commemoratives. Mm -hmm. It's a limited edition set of commemoratives with some stunning images on. But Dr. Doolittle, I remember, like my dad was a huge fan of musicals, trains and musicals, the weird combination, but he was. And we used to sit and watch My Fair Lady quite regularly with Rex Harrison. Um, and then later on, I saw Rex Harrison as Dr. Doolittle. And, it's, and the film is like three hours long, but I absolutely love it. You won't know it at all, because you're so young, <laughs> but you'll remember the Eddie Murphy version. Oh, I definitely do. Yeah, Loved was, that film. No one knew it was good, but it was all right. It was, it was quite funny. But Dr. Doolittle has something for everyone. I mean, who, uh, who of us doesn't want to talk to animals? Oh, I know. I wish I could understand what they were saying. I know. And sometimes we think we can. Mm. And we talk to them as if they understood. And they look at us just going, food, or but something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but Dr. Doolittle, of course, does. And this set, you've got it here. I'm sure you can see it on screen now. These are stunning images. And you've got um, different um, characters on there. You've got Jip and Gub Gub. You've got the, the, the Push Me Pull You, um, which was, of course, the double-headed llama, I think it mm -hmm. was, going both ways. You've got the Doctor and Polynesia, and you've got Doctor Doolittle himself. Look, the story's incredible. I love the, the adventure they go on. I just love the fact that he can talk and understand animals. Um, the collector's pack, which you see here, is incredible to get. There's only 4,995 of these in the world. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Um, so it's definitely one to grab hold of. You've got any remembrance of this beloved story. I love it. I mean, everyone knows the story. Of course they do. Yeah. And, and who doesn't want to be Dr. Doolittle? Exactly, we're all them animals. Um, Very cute. Oh no, cute, she's back. <laughs> definitely one to consider. So back to the UK coins, and this one is a 50p. Okay. So it's the third coin in the UK Harry Potter 50p series. Okay. Of course, already we've seen Harry Potter and Hogwarts Express. This one features everyone's favourite headmaster, Albus Dumbledore. Nice. And is this why the book has magically appeared here on the it table? It is, yes. As you know, the designs on these coins are based on Jim Kay's illustrations from the 2015 illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Mm. So if you have this book, you can actually go through and see the image that is inspired the design on this coin. Mm -hmm. And it shows Albus Dumbledore eating a bag of his favorite sweet sherbet lemons. And he's very quirky, he's got his little cloak on, and I think it's really nice. Is this a new cute quirky? It is, yeah, okay, very right. cute. <laughs> but the Harry Potter series has been exceptionally popular. Oh yeah, definitely. And I mean, making it even more popular, the first two coins had Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse, 
and then this is the first one in the Harry Potter series to have the king, King Charles III so on it. So it's one of the few series that will have both um, previous monarch and current monarch together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's the first ever commemorative UK 50p series right. to have two with one monarch, two with another on the obverse. So right. getting the whole collection is definitely going to be incredibly collectible. Mm. But I mean, this one on its own, if you didn't want to get the whole, the whole set, mm. this one is beautiful with Dumbledore. In actuality, if you've missed either of the first two, getting this one is important because it's going to be sought after by people who do have the first two and miss it. So, exactly. Yeah, definitely one So to yeah, lots of pre-orders in, so mm. definitely make sure you have a look and see if you can get one. Nice. Okay, so on to our favourites. Do you want to go first? I do want to go first. Now, you got to go on the Flying Scotsman recently, mm -hmm. as we saw. That would have been one of my favourite things to do. But another of my favourite things to do is play and watch darts. I've done this since I was a child. I've talked this a lot in your top picks, me being a child, usually with my dad, but in darts actually was always with my mum. Okay. She introduced me to John Lowe, Jockey Wilson, Eric Bristow, watched it all the way through, Phil the Power Taylor to the recent incredible final. Um, I spoke about on a recent video myself to do with these. Mm -hmm. These solid pure silver coins shaped like darts. So these are coins? These are coins. Go, grab one. Oh, yeah. Well, obviously we're wearing gloves because we're handling yeah. silver. So I'll take one. one. Thank one. you very much. You. Now I can see here and you'll see it on screen. The flights are actually embossed and you've got the denomination on there. Um, you've got the issuing country on there. You've got everything that says this is a coin. And these flights come off, they pack away beautifully yeah. in the presentation case. Attention to detail is second to none on these. You've got different designs, so you can see the different designs oh, on, on yeah, each actual each dart one. itself. Mm -hmm. They are sharp. You could throw them. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, it would be like taking a silver 50p and trying to spend it in a shop. Yeah. Just don't do it. Um, so they are really unusual, um, and I love unusual coins. I used to be quite a traditionalist where I only really liked proper coins in inverted commas. Mm -hmm. The and round we, ones. The round ones, or maybe the seven-sided, uh, uh, the very you know outside. But the thing is, I fall in love with more unique coins, and they've really become really popular. Yeah. And these really stand out as something I innovative, unusual. Um, yeah, it's what a lot of people like now. So if you like darts or you like unusual coins like I do now, it's definitely something to consider. Yeah. Okay, so we spent a lot of this Top Picks episode talking about my childhood. I didn't, I don't know why that wasn't the plan, but let's hear something from your childhood. Come on, what's Ooh. your favourite? Well, my favourite is very fitting because I've always been really intrigued by the story of King Arthur, oh. the Knights of the Round Table and the Sword Excalibur. Yes, absolutely. And my favourite is this, is the brand new UK £5 coin mm -hmm. and it features King Arthur and is part of the Myths and Legends £5 series. I get another quite popular series. Mm -hmm. So this is our third UK coin, you mm -hmm. know I said we had three. So yep. we've had all denominations, we've had a new £2, a new yep. 50p and this is a new £5. Nice. This coin is beautiful, it's got really nice Nice design on it by David Lawrence mm -hmm. of King Arthur wielding that iconic sword Excalibur. Yes, the one that chose him to be king. Exactly, yeah. And it's just if you're into the story at all or if you're into your myths and legends, I mean people thought he was real but it's still a grey area as mm -hmm. to whether it actually happened. This coin is definitely something to, you know, bring you back to your childhood, reading those stories and everything like that. Yeah. And I mean, importantly, you've got King Charles III on the obverse, yeah. but you've also got King Arthur on the reverse. Um, so you've got a king on each side of the coin. Have we had that before? Mm, I think we might have had with Tutankhamun. Of course, yeah. Yes. This is the first technically British, maybe if, if King Arthur was British, we really don't know, do we? Yeah. Oh, that's really good. I want to ask a quick question about King Arthur. Mm -hmm. Why was he and all of his people tired all the time? Why? Too many sleepless nights. <laughs> okay, so it's time for our, come on, our little round, round up. up. So we started with the Flying Scotsman. Mm -hmm. New two pound. Yeah, and then Dumbledore. New 50p. Are we still going to keep doing this? King Arthur. New five pound. Yeah. All UK coins. Yeah. Darts coins. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, unusual coins. Absolutely. And, and then my one of my, well, it wasn't my, my favourite, but one of my favourites, Dr. Doolittle. Mm -hmm. Great set of commemoratives. Really nice, yeah. So it's been a fantastic fortnight in the in the numismatic world. Um, really nice to see a good mix of denominations, the 50p, the two pound, the five pound, the commemoratives. If I'm honest, I always love a good five pound myself. They're my favorite denomination. Yeah, definitely. Some really interesting coins and commemoratives. But of course, those are just a few of our favorites. Mm -hmm. So make sure you head to our website. We always say it, there's a link down below and you can have a look at what else has been released in the last two weeks, not just our favorites. Mm -hmm. And see what you want to add to your collection, perhaps. Absolutely. And always subscribe to our channel, mm -hmm. hit that bell so you never miss one of our incredible, wonderful, entertaining videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in a couple of weeks time. See